One important thing you can and you should do to help your attorney with your wrongful termination or any other kind of employment case is to share not only those facts that make your case better and stronger, but you should also share the facts that make your case more difficult to prove and the facts that you know the employer is going to use in order to fight your case. The reason that your attorney needs to know about all these bad facts is because it's much easier for him to address or to figure out how to deal with those facts early on than when he's surprised by finding them out during a deposition or during the trial from the other side. And no one expects you to have a perfect employment case because there is no such thing. Every employment and every wrongful termination case has good facts and bad facts. There are facts that make your case stronger and easier to prove and there are facts that would make it more challenging. It's perfectly normal and it's completely common. So here are five types of facts, of negative facts, that you might have in your case that you should absolutely share with your attorney. Number one, write-ups and prior discipline. Maybe you have received one warning on, or one counseling memo. Maybe you, you have received more than one document that suggests that there were problems with your performance. Whether you agree with them or not, whether you think they were fair or justified or not, whether you signed those warnings or not, it doesn't matter. You should still share all that information. You should share everything you know and everything you have about your prior discipline and about your prior performance issues from the, employer, from the employer's perspective with your attorney so that he's ready for those issues when the time comes to deal with them. Why is this important? This is important because the employer will naturally argue in a wrongful termination case that the reason for your termination is not discrimination or retaliation or harassment but your performance issues. The better you are equipped with and the better your attorney equipped with addressing those arguments and having better arguments against them, the better off you will be and the easier it will be to prove and to win your case. Number two, arrests and criminal convictions. Whether you had a DUI or you've been arrested for something minor or something major, whether, whether it happened a year ago or 20 years ago, share all that information with your attorney. Even though it's not relevant to your case, it's relevant to your credibility. The employer will try to, to argue during any kind of proceedings that because you've been arrested before and because you've been convicted before, the judge or the jury, they should not believe what you're saying today about your case and about your termination. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but your attorney should know all that anyway. Number three, prior lawsuits against other employers. Have you sued any other employer before? Maybe you've sued more than one employer. Whether those lawsuits were ju justified, whether you won them or not, share that information with your attorneys. The other side loves using that kind of information to argue that you're just going around suing uh, employers and you just like doing this, this to make money. Whether it's true or not is a different question. They know that that argument sometimes works because it creates a perception in the eyes of the judge or a jury that in fact that's what you do. The sooner your attorney knows about your prior lawsuits, the better off he will be addressing those arguments early on. Number three, incorrect information on your resume or on your employment application with the employer that you're about to file a claim against. If there are inconsistencies or misrepresentations on your resume or, your, or on your employment application, make sure that you share that information with your attorney. Now, you might not remember exactly what you wrote in your employment application, especially if you've been working for this particular employer for five, ten or more years. What you can do is you have absolute right, at least in California, to go and look at your personnel file, look at your employment application, see if anything in there is incorrect. Maybe the dates of your prior employment are incorrect. Maybe you mentioned information about your education and about your degrees that's not completely correct. Make sure that you're aware of all these inconsistencies and share them with your attorney again so that he can deal with those issues well in advance instead of being surprised by them later. Number four, bankruptcy. Are you planning to declare bankruptcy or have you recently declared bankruptcy? If so, you need to discuss this with your attorney and possibly with a bankruptcy attorney because in many cases any proceeds from your case 
or at least a large part of those proceeds will belong to the bankruptcy estate. And the, once a trustee finds out about your case, which they usually do, they will come in and they will say that it's their case, it's their settlement money, they should be in charge, and so forth. So, share any information about the bankruptcy you filed before or the bankruptcy you're planning to file with your attorney so that you can figure out the status, your financial status, and the status of any potential recovery in your case together early on. And the last item that you should be aware of, that you should share with your attorney, is any kinds of writings or emails that you wrote to your employer that would suggest that you're someone who is angry or someone who is rude or someone who is insubordinate. Think about of all your communications, chats, Facebook messages, emails, voice messages. Is there anything out there that can objectively be construed as making you look as rude, temperamental, angry, someone who does not support his management and so forth? Whether it was justified or not is a different question. So, produce, retrieve and produce all the emails that you have and all other documents that you have that might make you look like not the warmest and the kindest employee in the world. Share them with your attorney so that, again, he knows how to deal with those issues early on and you and he, you both avoid the surprise of having to deal with those issues again during your deposition or at the arbitration or a trial. Thank you.